Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about an issue that is happening in my local community and to see if it happens in other places as well. A lot of younger kids, I would say 14, 15, 16, they have been going to different places including game stores that carry Magic the Gathering. In this case, it was Pokemon. And for whatever reason, they don't realize that they are probably being filmed even my local game store has cameras 24 seven, mainly because of people trying to get free game stuff. I'm not sure like how many people steal stuff from Macy's or Nordstrom's, probably more than I would know or more than I would predict, but for Magic the Gathering or for Pokemon or for other geek hobbies, it happens a lot uh, in my area. And my area is not like the best living area. Um, I do live by a golf course, but outside of the community, the surrounding area is kind of uh, not great. So I've seen many of my, my friend owns a local game store and he's had some people come in, steal a t-shirt, steal a you know pack of cards once in a while. Uh, nothing too major. But for two kids to steal $700 of Pokemon and just walk out is pretty insane, right? I mean, these are very young kids and I've seen, I'm seeing more of a trend in the geek slash nerd hobbies where people steal a lot. Previously, I had caught someone at, at one of the places I play. It's no longer around and they just... You know, there's sharking and then there's like sharking, right? There's like taking cards out of your binder and trying to confuse you as to what they took out of the binder. Now for my binder, it's pre it used to be really organized and I always, if they didn't trade, I would put them back in place. But I have had times where, and especially younger um, people below the age of 18, have double, you know, taken two of the same card and kind of made it like one card. But then I'm like, no, let me hand over that card to me. And like, oh, I didn't know there's two of them. I was like, yeah, you did because you took them in two different places and you combined them into one. So it wasn't like I had two cards behind the binder because I never do that, right? Uh, some of my friends still have binders where they put multiple cards and, and even valuable ones in the same pocket. And it's very difficult to remember how many cards you had or who is trading, right? Also, the type of people who trade with you while you're playing the game, I think that's a typical distraction point to steal your cards because um, that's not normal, right? They're like, oh, I got to go. I got to go. Do you want to trade? Do you want to trade? And normally, they will offer you a very good deal for on the face. But then why the hell are they so eager to like trade with you? Like why would they rip themselves off? And they do tend to be people who don't even play F and M. Two most famous traders at my local game store previously, they don't even play F and M. They just sit there and they set up shop and they trade and they trade and sometimes they buy and sell, which is against shop policy, but they have some sway, right? They definitely have some sway where if they got banned, people would be upset and the people it logically are upset because then they would have to pay higher prices at the store which they're pay, they're playing at, which has to pay for electricity and judges and people to operate the store, employees. So I have seen a general trend where uh, there is a lot more stealing of magic cards, of Pokemon, of just outright stealing goods. And it's quite fascinating to me that like from this picture, you can see that there are very young age. Maybe they're 14. I probably not in high school. If they're in high school, maybe they're freshmen. Where I live, it is a serious problem. Uh, it's a problem in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, it's a problem in the Pokemon community, and it's a problem in the Magic the Gathering community. Outside of stealing stuff from a shop, they also, also steal stuff from people's tray binders. And I've seen this, and I've caught people on it, and I've said, okay, you were trying to steal this from me, do you think that's a good idea? 
and that's partially why I don't trade anymore. So if you see me at locals, I do not carry a trade binder with me. At most, I have it's limited or sealed. Maybe I have a standard deck on me. If it's standard, I might have a modern deck or EDH deck. I won't have both. It's because the card prices of these things are just so insane that I cannot imagine them like being lost or it would be so difficult and expensive to replace them at this point in time, given how they, especially given that my decks are very altered, uh, commissioned, I commission alters and they're very unique. Uh, I don't think anyone can sell it because it would be difficult to move, but uh, it would cost a lot of money for me to personally replace. I don't know. Uh, leave me a comment below if you have seen this trend. Uh, it is a trend where I'm very careful. I no longer bring tray binder to. I no longer bring tray binder because it's not worth, in my opinion. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.